Hey everyone, how's it going? Ah, uh, well, I am uh, going to spread some straw. You can see behind me with the bale processor. Uh, we're just going by the pond or dugout, or my dugout there that I did the aeration video on, uh, adding, oxi uh, adding oxygen to the water. And uh, as you can see, uh, the aeration had washed out quite a huge amount of ice. Uh, that was, uh, usually doesn't do that, but with the weather being so warm, it was just above zero for a few days. For the whole week, actually. It was nice. But as you can see, now we're back to down to minus 20 at night. And, uh, it has frozen back. But it's still open quite a bit. So, uh, a lot of you people wanted to see a little follow-up video on that. And... You can see it's aerating nicely there. So yeah. Uh, I had a couple of people ask me about wells. Uh, we we can drill wells here except the water is so hard to them that it's, it just tastes awful. Uh, you can get like, soft, uh, like filters and stuff like that but most people around here I know have dugouts and they just have the water filtered in the house and then they have cisterns which is a tank in the ground that you haul water to from town so you get that chlorinated water which I hate I don't like drinking I'd rather drink this stuff any day instead of being uh, it's like drinking pool water if you ask me but yeah uh, here's the compressor and these things are very cheap to run they don't take that much power a little uh, uh, 2 amp motor 115 volt 2 amp motor you can see there it's on 25 psi I got two lines one there that's my one I'm using uh, yeah I had a comment from Sour Cattle Company there Actually, he had a good idea that you could put one of those in a big stock tank and it would keep the water open better than a de-icer. So, I thought that was actually a pretty good idea. But anyway, I'm going to go spread the straw. Uh, I've been kind of trying to make a couple videos, but we've been so busy with calves. We had like six yesterday. Uh, I think there was three three during the night so yeah it's been uh, pretty busy and pretty exhausting so and it's been the barn has been uh, up to capacity so uh, we've been having to uh, alternate a few cows. So, anyway, I hope to get some more footage of doing the shed, but it's, since it's so cold now, I really don't want to. But uh, We can build the walls inside the shop, but the tractor's in there. Never have enough space, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm going to head her out to the bowls. Uh, we sure haven't had very much for snowfall this winter. I don't know if today's Groundhog Day, did the Groundhog see a shadow or what? I, didn't, I never heard. But uh, yeah, we really haven't had a snowy winter, that's for sure. Not really too cold. Too, we had uh, that one big cold snap. And uh, that was pretty cold. We're kind of in another one. It's supposed to get down to 30 for the night, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to make sure we have a lot of bedding out there. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, we'll uh, talk to you guys later. Make sure you subscribe for more. Uh, and uh, that's, that's all. <laughs> Thanks for watching.